I noticed also people who didn't know anything about the principles and then seeing some of the things, I've seen transformative interactions between people. People having crunchy human interaction issues that have, have, have learned the principles and have applied them and those some of those issues have completely evaporated. And it's not to say everything's hunky-dory because every, you know, every organization has things that they continue to need to work on, but I have absolutely demonstrated, uh, demonstrated uh, proof that watching somebody use Habit 5 and understanding somebody before being understood and just seeing the tension melt away and the problems, and then using Habit 6, synergizing to figure out, hey, how can we solve this in a way that works for both of us? Just bring yourself to work every day and just be open to learning from, from your teammates and be, and be open to giving your teammates you know, things to learn from you and just embracing the habits. And uh, I, think you'll, I think the culture will reveal itself if it's somebody new and hopefully you'll see it in action. And once again, if you don't, I'd like to know about it. Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, we don't have any offices, so everybody sits out in the office. And I've tried to model that I'm approached. You can approach me on anything at any time. Uh, whether you want to come up to my desk and talk to me about it or ask for time to meet with me, send me a message on Slack or on email and uh, do the best to, uh, to get back with somebody in a timely manner and kind of understand the issue. And I think people would tell you that uh, a lot of the things that we've done so far are as a result of our employees saying, well, let's not do it this way, let's do it this way. And uh, we have, we do everything in an agile and human-centered way, including improve the company. We actually have an active continuous improvement backlog that is influenced by the feedback we've gotten in our surveys from employees. And we're gonna continue down that path because the employees, you know, uh, the employees will tell us what to do, you know, and they'll tell us when to make changes if we only listen to them. And I'm committed, and our leadership team is committed to listening to people and understanding, you know, once again, Habit 5. Seek first to understand before being understood. It's the number one habit. And uh, we're going to use that in everywhere, including, hey, is something wrong at 1904 Labs? Let us know. We may not agree, once again, understanding is not agreement, but uh, we certainly want to understand. And if we do agree, or if we need to use Habit 6, synergize to figure out what we're going to do about it, then we'll take action.